Hey guys, so there's been a lot of complexity and confusion around antioxidants and free radicals. So I wanted to create a short video to explain the simplicity of it, okay? So if we take a look at uh, most atoms, which are composed of electrons, protons, and neutrons, okay, that form molecules and chemistry in the physical universe. Um, this is kind of like the building blocks. Most atoms uh, have paired electrons, so they kind of balance each other out. A free radical has unpaired electrons. So we have electron on one side, but not on the other. So if you can envision kind of a disc spinning with maybe a weight on one side and you spin it, it's gonna be lopsided. It's gonna go around and create a lot of damage, but if we take a weight and balance it out, it'll spin really nice and symmetrical. So free radicals create damage uh, in our cells, in the DNA, in the mitochondria. They create a lot of oxidation, just like you would get rust in a car same thing can happen in our bodies. So uh, example of things that give off free radicals would be radiation, uh, different chemicals, hydrogen peroxide. If you have some in your house and you poured it on an open wound to clean it, you can see it just fizzes and just starts to oxidize the tissue. Uh, that's hydrogen peroxide. And then we have something called free iron or free copper. In the body, uh, iron and copper is normally bound to protein, um, but it's very dangerous when it's free to create havoc. So th these two are considered free radicals. And then we have high levels of sugar, which creates a lot of oxidation in the arteries of our bodies and the tissues. Now, antioxidants basically donate an electron to neutralize or stop the free radicals. So they donate an electron to balance it out, okay? So thereby neutralizing the damaging effects of these guys right here. So that would be vitamin C, vitamin E, alpha lipoic acid, selenium compounds, which work with glutathione, uh, beta carotene, which is a part of the vitamin A complex, coenzyme Q10. So you would get these in superfoods, leafy greens, cruciferous, a lot of healthy foods. So it's really just a matter of avoiding the things that create oxidation and consuming the things that balance and repair and neutralize these things right here. All right, thanks for watching. So we've been getting a lot of success stories, but I don't have your success story yet. So click the link down below and upload your before and after. I wanna actually hear about your success story. I wanna see your before and afters. And every week we do featured success stories. So click the link down below and share your success.